Thank you for giving me a chance to present my article in the first KJTESS camp meeting 2021. Today, what I'm going to present is about complication and the contraindication of pre-endoscopic lumbar decompression. The content of this presentation was analyzed according to the guidelines of speakers. I mainly use the guidelines presented by NAS. As a result of the research using PubMed, I could find about from 69 to 184 papers and selected the suite of papers for the study and analyzed again. As you can see from the graph, it can be seen that the number of related papers has exploded from around 2020. Selected paper, papers were divided into interlaminal approach and transforaminal approach. In the interlaminal decompression, MED and interlaminal discectomy were excluded. In transforaminal decompression, PLD and diffusion were excluded. I also excluded the papers that did not have any content on contraindication and complications. On the other hand, content that the researchers classified as excluded criteria were included in the category of contraindication. There are already published papers on these contraindications and complications, but very few. This paper is a textbook published in 2010 on complications of endoscopic lumbar decompression. And there are several papers about dual tearing from endoscopic decompression. This paper is about the dual tearing. Also, this paper is another paper on dual tearing. Already, many papers about dual tearing were reported. It is also a dual tearing paper. And the post-operative epidural lipomatosis has also been reported as complication. Because there are too few papers on contraindication and complications, I reviewed all papers on full endoscopic rhombatic compression and selected the papers containing contraindications and complications. As mentioned before, MED, PTD, PID, and fusion were excluded. First, it is about interlaminal lumbatic compression. This paper is the level one study, prospective randomized controlled study of endoscopic interlaminal decompression for lateral recess in 2009. In this paper, there is only inclusion criteria without exclusion. However, dramatic injury, postoperative dysesthesia, tension to urinary tension, persistent pain were reported as complications. This paper is a secondary earliest paper on full endoscopy interlaminal lumbar decompression. It is a level two prospective comparative study and the report exclusion criteria and the complications. <clears throat> In this paper, contraindication of interlaminal decompression was reported for the first time. This paper is another level one prospective randomized controlled study. In this paper, exclusion criteria and the complications are reported. This is a level three retrospective study and the uh, three major and the minor complications were reported. In control lateral interlaminal keyhole approach, epidural hematoma was reported as complication. And this level three paper reported the exclusion criteria and the perioperative complications. Then game reported Control lateral interlaminal approach with the reverse 3 evidence and the inadequate primary decompression was reported as complication. Also, Kim reported the bilateral interlaminal control lateral approach and he suggested the exclusion criteria and reported the dual tearing as a complication. This paper is the first meta analysis for full endoscopic in the interlaminal decompression reverse 3 evidence with a system review of reverse 3 studies. And the transient paresthesia incident of durotomy, epidural hematoma, headache were reported as complications. This is a level three retrospective study and the exclusion criteria were reported. This paper is a level two comparative study of interlaminal versus transforaminal approach and uh, uh, complications were reported. Dr. Wim reported the multi-level full endoscopic decompression with the evidence three retrospective study. In this paper, Duracure, infection, hematoma were reported as complication. This paper is a level two prospective controlled study 
and the exclusion criteria and the complications were reported. This is a retrospective level three study and the exclusion criteria and the complication were reported. This paper is the level four case series and the complications were reported. This is a level three retrospective comparative study and the discontinuation and the paresthesia were reported as a complication. This paper is a level three retrospective study and the uh, exclusion criteria and the complications were reported. This paper is a level three retrospective comparative study and the post operative complications were reported. This paper is a level three retrospective study of a comparative study and the post operative complications were reported and various complications were reported. This paper is a level three retrospective study and the exclusion criteria and the complications were reported. This paper is a level two economic and the decision analysis, sensor of cost and the alternative study. Duratier and the iatrogenic instability were reported as complications. This is a retrospective level three paper reported exclusion criteria and the complications. This paper is a level three therapeutic study of a systemic review of level three. In this paper, mainly back pain and instability, deformity were contraindication, or various complications were reported. This paper is a level three retrospective study and the exclusion criteria and the complications were reported. There are extremely few, fewer papers on contraindication of a full endoscopy interamina decompression. This paper was published in 2021, calcified disc, severe stenosis, codicular syndrome, painless weakness, severe fibrotic adhesion, infections were contraindication. In summarizing the papers, the contraindication of interamina aromatic compression was reported in the following order. Spondyl recesses, instability, previous surgery, foraminal stenosis, tumor, infection, sclerosis, and mainly back pain. Also in summarizing, the complications of interamina decompression was reported in the following order. Duratier is the most common, next to hematoma, dysesthesia, urinary tension, motor weakness, persistent pain, medical problem. From now on, let me show contraindication and the complication of transforaminal lumbar decompression. The first paper about complications of transforaminal endoscopic decompression was reported by Kenbin, 1996. This prospective level two study reported hypersensitivity of skin with causal pain and the disc space infection as complications. This paper is a level four case series and reported the exclusion criteria and the complications. This level two prospective study reported the recurrent symptom as complications. Also, level three retrospective support study reported foramen stenosis in antigen is a poor outcome. This paper is level four technical load reported exclusion criteria and no complication. This paper is level three retrospective study and the exclusion criteria and the complications. Also, this paper level three complications were reported. This paper is level three, exclusion criteria and the complications. And this paper level three, exclusion criteria and the complications. This paper is level three, retrospective study and the exclusion criteria and the complications were reported. This paper also level three, exclusion criteria and the complications. Also, this paper is level three, exclusion criteria and the complications. Also, this level three exclusion and complications. And this level three exclusion criteria and complications. And this paper level two comparative study and the reported complications. And this is a retrospective study, level three, and the reported complications. And also, uh, this paper level three exclusion criteria and the complications. So this paper level four case series 
exclusion criteria and in complications. And this paper is a full uh, case report of ipsilateral pedicle stress fracture. And this paper is level three exclusion criteria and the complications. And this paper is level three retrospective study and the exclusion and the and this paper uh, uh, used the contraindication instead of exclusion criteria. Also, this paper reversity, no complications. And this is a reversity, exclusion criteria, complications. Also, reversity, exclusion, complication. Also, reversity, exclusion, exclusion compl complications. Also, retrospective study, exclusion, complications. This reversible retrospective study is on the contraindication of a transformer rheumatic compression and the severe spinal uh, stenosis and the complex spinal stenosis were reported as a contraindication of a transformer decompression. And this paper is a reversible retrospective study, exclusion criteria, and the complications. In summarizing the papers, the contraindication of transforaminal rheumatic compression was reported in the following order. Instability, tumor, infection, spondylolisthesis, severe central stenosis, many back pain, multiple stenosis. Also in summarizing the papers, the complications of transforaminal rheumatic compression was reported in the following order. Dysesthesia, untreated pain, duratioling, discognition, infection, incompatibility compression, what weakness, neck pain during surgery. The contraindications of two surgical methods are summarized as follows. In both methods, the contraindication trend tends to be similar. However, in interamine approach, foraminal stenosis becomes contraindication. On the other hand, multiple spinal stenosis, bilateral symptoms, and the high iliac crest are contraindication in transforaminal decompression. The complications of two surgical methods are summarized as follows. Also, in both methods, complications tend to be similar. However, in interamine approach, having more complications than transforaminal decompression. Most common complication is the duratioling in interamina, second common hematoma. On the other hand, in transforaminal decompression, dysesthesia is most common next to untreated pain. Finally, I hope that this study will be opportunity to select such indications and the surgical methods and reduce the complication in the future. Thank you for your attention.